Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the nomenclature regarding Cardano. So a lot of the names that are responsible for the Cardano project, whether that be Shelley, Gogan, Voltaire, Cardano, Ada, Daedalus, they all have significant meanings. So I wanted to do a lighthearted video today going through the meaning, the historical meaning between, behind all of the names that Cardano chooses to represent their platform. There's a historical tidbit regarding each and every one of the projects that is involved within the Cardano ecosystem, within the Cardano platform. It's very interesting. Maybe I'll include a picture of each of the significant people and how they tie into the project. So first of all, I have some notes here, of course, um, that I found online on the, on the wiki page of Cardano. And it says that the names used for various aspects of the platform and project are from famous mathematicians, scientists, poets, or Greek mythology. Everything done within this Cardano ecosystem has a significant meaning. It's just, the nomenclature is just beautiful to hear. So, of course, we start off with Cardano, which is the name of the platform, and its name's origin is from Girolamo Cardano, born in 1501, died in 1576. He was an Italian polymath whose interest and proficiencies ranged from being a mathematician, physician, biologist, phys physicist, chemist, astrologer, astronomer, philosopher, writer, and gambler. So he wore many hats. I'm not sure if he was proficient in all of these, but um, it's, it's a great little naming nomenclature behind Cardano because Cardano is really doing a lot as well. They are doing this, they're doing their smart contracts, they're doing their settlement layer, they're, they're really an expansive project. So I think the name was fitting for the project. These next two names, um, of course, they're Ada and Lovelace. These are the, the currency, this is the currency nomenclature for the Cardano ecosystem. So when you, when you want to invest in Cardano, you are purchasing Ada and Ada can be divisible into Lovelace. So you can think about it as dollars and cents. Ada is your dollar bills and Lovelaces are your cents. But Ada is the cryptocurrency used um, by the Cardano platform and Lovelace is the smallest unit of measure for Ada. And it was named after Augusta Ada King Noel, Count, Countess of Lovelace. And she was born in 1815, died in 1852. She was an English Mathematician and writer, chiefly known for her work on Charles Babbage's proposed mechanical general purpose computer, the analytical machine. She was the first to recognize that the machine had applications beyond pure calculation and published the first algorithm intended to be carried out by such a machine. As a result, she is sometimes regarded to the first regarded as the first to recognize the full potential of the computing machine and the first computer programmer which is wonderful because she was ahead of her time. She realized that there were applications for the computer beyond the initial calculation, beyond pure calculation. And this is exactly what Cardano is doing. They have recognized that there are applications beyond Bitcoin, beyond Ethereum, and the name is so fitting. There is historical meaning behind this name and it is so fitting. Generations later, after Ada Lovelace's contributions to the mathematical and scientific fields, we're using Ada Lovelace's name in order to create the cryptocurrency for the next financial stack of the world. The use case of Cardano, the use case of using Ada and using Lovelace, it's going to extend beyond just pure calculation. And it is extending beyond pure calculation. There's not just a settlement layer. There's a computational layer as well where smart contracts can be built upon it. So that's wonderful. Then we have Daedalus, which is the official wallet of Cardano platform. And in Greek mythology, Daedalus was a skillful craftsman and artist. He's the father of Icarus, the uncle of Perdix, and possibly also the father of Eopix, although this is unclear. So once again, if you download the Daedalus wallet, it's, it was created by skillful engineers and Daedalus was a skillful craftsman and artist. Beautiful connection there. Then we have Ouroboros, which is the proof of stake protocol. And um, Ouroboros is what's going to, what has led to Shelley 
and you know Shelly is the staking platform for Cardano. So the Ouroboros is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. Originating in ancient Egyptian iconography, the Ouroboros entered Western tradition via Greek magical tradition and was adopted as a symbol in Gnosticism and Hermeticism, and most notably in alchemy. So that's a, that's a great tidbit there. Then we have Plutus. Plutus is the strictly typed, pure functional programming language used for defining smart contracts in Cardano. And Plutus was the god of wealth in ancient Greek religion and Greek mythology. Then we have Marlowe. And Marlowe is a new DSL IOHK is creating to model financial contracts. Uh, Christopher Marlowe was known as Kit Marlowe, born in 1564, died in 1593. He was an English playwright, poet, and translator. And then there's Yella. Yella is a variant of LLVM, specialized to execute smart contracts on the blockchain. The Yella are feminine mythical creatures in Romanian mythology. There are several differing descriptions of their characteristics. Often they are described as virgin fairies with great seductive power over men and magic skills and attributes similar to nymphs, naiads, and dryads found in Greek mythology. They are also similar to the Samodivas in Bulgaria. So this is great because Yella is our smart contracting platform. Hopefully we can use our seductive power to bring a lot of these contracts and bring a lot of these cryptos over to our side. And I think it's gonna work out. So this is great naming. And now we're gonna move on to the project phase. So in the project phase, we have Byron, Shelley, Gogan, Voltaire, and Basho. Um, Byron was the first phase of the Cardano project where the settlement layer mainnet was launched, AKA the bootstrap era. And it was named after George Gordon Byron, born in 1788, died in 1824. Known as Lord Byron, he was an English nobleman, poet, peer, politician, and leading figure in the romantic movement. He's regarded as one of the greatest British poets. And I would agree that Cardano is like poetry. It's like mathematical, digital poetry. Shelley, Shelley is focusing on ensuring that key elements are in place so that the technology grows into a fully decentralized and autonomous system, AKA the rewards era. So Shelley is what's gonna be responsible for our staking rewards. And that's gonna be fun coming quarter one, 2019. So. Keep on tuning into this channel because I'll be covering it in great detail. And this was named after Percy Bish Shelley. I'm, I'm not, um, excuse me if that came out as a bad word, but this is just the middle name. Born in 1792 and died in 1822. Was one of the major English romantic poets and is regarded by some as among the finest lyrical poets in the English language and one of the most influential. So one of the best poets in the English language. And I think that this is going probably to be the best poetry of us as Cardano, as, as ADA stakeholders within this ecosystem, being able to passively create, um, being able to earn passive income through, the, through staking awards and strengthening the ecosystem. It's going, to bring, it's going to bring a lot of joy to a lot of people within this ecosystem. Next, we have Gogan. So this is the next generation virtual machine called Yella and a universal language framework to be used as the core infrastructure for future blockchain technologies. Um, it's named after Joseph Gogan, born in 1941, died in 2006. He was a US computer scientist. He was a professor of computer science at the University of California and Oxford University and held research positions at IBM and SRI International. Basho. Um, this is the features in Basho are focused on performance, security, and scalability. It will feature the implementation of Ouroboros Prowse and a revised network layer. So this is the scalability era. Um, <coughs> the name origin is from Matsuo Basho, born in 1644, died in 1694. He was the most famous poet of the Edo period in Japan. During his lifetime, Basho was recognized for his works in the collaborative Haikai no Renga form. Today, after centuries of commentary, he is recognized as the great master of haiku. So that's where the haiku poetry comes from. Simple at 575 and just precise poetry comes from Matsuo Basho. And this is for the era that's focused on performance, 
security and scalability. The links are, are, are amazing because haikus are so mathematically sound and now we're using Basho as our the project phase to describe the performance and security and scalability aspect of Cardano. Beautiful. And then we finish with Voltaire and Voltaire is focused on assurance and scalability and we'll see the introduction of the treasury model. This will ensure the sustainability and self-sufficiency of the blockchain and community. So this is when we're going to have the treasury system. We're going to probably have voting and everything that's going to allow us to be sufficient, self-sufficient, and allow the community to fully take control over the Cardano project. And this is named after François-Marie Arrou. Known by his pen name Voltaire, was a French Enlightenment writer, historian, and philosopher famous for his wit, his attacks on the established Catholic Church and Christianity as a whole, and a advocate, advocacy of a freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and separation of church and state. So this is where we become free to really own our blockchain. We are free from the constructs of modern society, free from the banks, free from everything. And this is where everything wraps up and the network, the entire ecosystem is handed over to the people. So I just thought this was a, a fun little video to make about all the nomenclature within Cardano. Everything is so significant. Everything is so well thought of. Everything is so mathematical and precise and every name has a particular meaning and there was just not like these names were pulled out of a hat. You can tell that the team or whoever came up with these names was really thinking about the deep meaning behind these names before attributing it to the project phases or the, the the projects or the platform functions within the ecosystem. So what are your thoughts? What are your favorite names within um, Cardano? Do you like the nomenclature? Do you like the fact that it's very old and um, usually comes from either Greek mythology or older mathematicians and scientists and poets and playwrights and writers? Or do you prefer other names? And, are you satisfied with the nomenclature? And let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your concerns are. And once again, like, comment, and subscribe. This was a fun video. Thank you. And until the next video.